All right, I'm going to do a video showing you some of the verses that post tribulations will try to run to to prove that the rapture happens after the tribulation or the time of Jacob's trouble as it's properly called. The Bible nowhere uses the tribulation as the title for this coming seven year period. But here are some, here are some of the co most common books in the Bible, chapters in the Bible, that these post tribulation heretics often will run to to say, see look, the body of Christ gets raptured after the tribulation. Again, knowing that's not even a, a title for this coming time period. But So the first one, they'll run to Luke chap chapter 21. And I'm going to show you that Luke chapter 21, as well as all the other books they run to, are not even written to Christians. They're written to Jews. And I'm going to prove that. So they'll run to Luke chapter 21. They'll say, see look, Jesus is warning about you know, the tribulation and that kind of stuff in Luke chapter 21. Okay, read verse 21. Luke chapter 21 verse 21. We're going to see who Luke 21 is written to. Luke chapter 21, verse number 21. And let, and let, sorry, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of, the, of its depart, out and, not, uh, and let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. Huh. Let them which be in Judea. Uh, what are Christians doing in Judea? It's the Jews. This Luke 21 is written to the Jews. That's why it says, let them which be in Judea. So, uh, using Luke 21 to prove a post-trib rapture is a flaw. It's a flawed, uh, flawed, you know, doctrine, I guess. Mark chapter, they'll say, what about Mark chapter 13? Okay, Mark chapter 13. We'll see who it's written to. Mark chapter 13, verse number 9. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you un up unto the councils, and in the synagogues, ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before the rulers and the kings for my sake, uh, for a testimony against them. Uh, what are Christians doing in synagogues? Again, it's the Jews. Luke, uh, Mark chapter 13 is written to the Jews, not the Christians. What are Christians doing in synagogues? And also Mark chapter 13 verse 24, or not 24, 14, sorry. But when ye, when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, standing where, ye, where it ought not, uh, let him that readeth understand, and then let them which be in, or the, sorry, let them that be in Judea flee into the mountains. Or flee to the mountains, sorry. Uh, again, it's to, to the Jews. Let them which be in Judea. Um, what are Christians doing in Judea? It's not even written to the Christians. And of course, the infamous Matthew chapter 24. They all say, oh, what about Matthew 24? Again, it's not even written to the Christians. Matthew chapter 24, verse 16. Where is it? Here it is. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Again, Judea. What are Christians doing in Judea? We're not in Judea right now. And of course, verse 20 is another good one. But pray ye, that, that, pray ye that your flight not, be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Uh, what are Christians doing observing the Sabbath? Uh, we're not told to observe the Sabbath. When Paul listed the commandments for, for a New Testament Christian, he doesn't mention the Sabbath. What are Christians doing observing the Sabbath? It's to the Jews. So, and it's funny because what it comes down to is that if you think that these books are written to Christians, then you have to become replacement theology. Anyone who's post-trib must also become replacement theology because Mark 13, Luke 21, and Matthew 24 are clearly to the Jewish people. So you have to say, okay, well, the church, the church has replaced the Jews. And even then, it still doesn't work. You want to know why? Because where are we observing the Sabbath? Even if the, even if the church has replaced the Jews, uh, why, why, when, when have we observed the Sabbath? When are Christians observing the Sabbath? So even then, it still doesn't work. So even if you are replaced with theology, this still doesn't work because Christians are not observing the Sabbath. So don't be deceived by this whole post-trib satanic heresy. It's it's a lie from the pit of hell. It's uh, wicked. It, it's getting people not looking forward to Jesus Christ, but towards the Antichrist. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.